Hello, welcome back to IFRC CZ. I am Adeda Mulaotun and I run this financial reporting platform. So basically what I'll be doing is I'll be continuing from where I stopped and I started a series on uh, my relocation from Nigeria to Canada through a job that I got here. So I mentioned that you guys should drop questions and comments and then I will answer them based on uh, subsequent videos. So this is one of the uh, videos I'm making in order to answer some of your questions. So today we'll be talking about one question that was a recurring theme in the comment section and it's about how to apply to jobs in Canada. Like what are the processes, the steps and although I released some sites uh, on the first video I made but uh, you guys wanted to know exactly how to go about it. So that's what we're doing now. Yeah, let's get started. Now, before we start, I would like to mention once again that I'm not a travel consultant. And so all what I'll be saying here is based on my own uh, experience and how I went about applying to jobs. And also for those that were asking that, uh, can they apply to jobs even though they don't have a degree or I mean there are so many jobs that you can actually apply to that does not require you having a bachelor's degree okay so there are different means of searching for Canada jobs uh, the first one which is I feel that is supposed to be your go-to for any job search that has to do with Canada is the Canada site itself so the Canadian government themselves they have a site where the invite employers to list their available roles they list the job role they list the description they list the the pay they list a whole lot of information about uh, the available roles so we're we'll going through the sites together right now so as you see here the name of the site is jobbank.gc.ca so i already included all these links that I'll be talking through. I already included them in the description box. So you just go to the description box and copy each of the links as I walk you through them. So the first one is the Job Bank for Canada. And you see that it is uh, a job bank that is being uh, administered by the government of Canada. So uh, here, what we have done here is we've opened the temporary foreign workers uh, section. And what you can do is you can either sign up. I'll show you where to sign up after I've talked through this section. So you see different jobs that are available. There are so many of them. You see food service worker, teacher, cleaner, office administrator. And you also have them by provinces as well. So you see the number of jobs based on the provinces. You see for Ontario, there is 1,480 jobs. Then there's also what we call labor market impact assessment. So there are some jobs that require this, that employers are expected to provide to the government. And there are some that are not compulsory. But oftentimes, LMI is always required for temporary foreign workers. And so each employer, you will see that if you click on the one that has to do with LMI approved, it means that the employer has already received approval to be able to uh, employ foreign workers so you, if you scroll down you see a whole lot of them click on show more results you see a lot of them like that like that and uh, that's pretty much how the structure of it looks like you see so many jobs and uh, you can filter for the available role you are looking for uh, here it says you should input the role here it says are you searching for your current location? So that's even if probably you're already in Canada. And if you're not, you can just put all of Canada there. So let's check this out. The high school teacher as an example. So when you click on it, it takes you directly to the page that the employer has already populated. So it gives you a breakdown of everything that has to do with the job. And it shows you the date it was posted. You see, this one was posted December 30, 2022. Uh, it shows you the ON Miss Ontario. So it shows you the location, shows you the amount, the pay, shows you whether this employer has already received LMI or not. 
uh, it shows you different things about the job and then the most important shows you how to actually apply and it also shows you when the advertisement will close meaning you have to apply before that time then when you open that up it shows you how to apply it's telling us here that you have to send an email to this particular uh, email address then how do you apply when you're applying you include the reference number you make sure that you have a well drafted cover letter you include your highest level of education and pretty much everything that you need to do and these job screening questions when you're sending the mail you have to include your responses to these questions uh, within the mail as well now we can also check the job details if you click on show job details it will show you what you are required to have or possess in order for you to be eligible to apply for the role so once you see that you meet the criteria then you can just go ahead and apply okay so you see that there are quite a number of jobs here it's currently telling us that there are over 4,000 job openings which is close to 4,500 that are available to apply for you to apply to okay so let's just check for some other uh, for some other roles as well so we can say let's search for let's search for a caregiver's role so we search for caregiver we just click on search button and it has to give us all available roles that has to do with caregiving so you see it lists them according to the date they were posted as well there are quite a number of them so let's try another search criteria customer service so if you enter that search for it to also give you a breakdown of the available roles that has to do with your search results that has to do with your search criteria So if we try to search for accountant as well, we should see the list of available roles as that the most recent dates that they were updated. Okay, so that's pretty much how it works. And uh, the most important thing is you should try as much as possible to sign up on the page and it will then make it easier for you to just navigate through. Yeah, so you can sign up and then to make it easier for you to navigate through the page. So that's for temporary foreign workers. So let's now try a general search that isn't just, you know, there are several categories. So what we tried is the temporary foreign workers. So we can also try the general search where we have, aside from the temporary foreign workers, we also have those that are already in Canada. You see that number of roles that is shown here is way more than the 4,000 that we saw earlier. So these are the categories. We have young Canadians, indigenous people, those that are just new to Canada. That are already in Canada, foreign candidates, temporary workers. So, whatever category that you fall, you click on it, uh, and then it gives you what you're looking for. Okay, so that's pretty much how it works. Okay, so let's try other links uh, as we have it. 
Okay, so aside from the Canadian Job uh, Bank, we also have another means of getting uh, available jobs is to actually go to the site of companies that are located in Canada that are in need of foreign workers. So if you go to the specific company site, you can go to the career uh, page. There is always a career page for whatever company that is that has a website. They always have a career page where they list available openings. So I'll walk you through uh, how this works now. So you might be asking that how do I know which company is actually in Canada that is in need of foreign workers. So the Canadian government, what they've done is they've provided a data that lists out companies that have registered with them, that have informed them that they are in need of foreign workers. So there's a data for it. I will walk you through how to get that data so that subsequently when the data is being updated, you can have access to it rather than me just downloading it for you. So the link is also in the description box. You can just go there and click on it while I walk you through how it works. Okay, so that's the link, open.canada.ca. You see, it is saying that all these, they have a positive LMI, that is, they have been approved by the Canadian government. So if you scroll down, you will see the data from 2014. But we are not looking for 2014, we are looking for the latest one. So what we do is scroll down to the last section. So the most recent one that you see here is quarter 3, 2022. But there are two of them. The one, one is for French, one is for English. But we will be downloading the English version. Okay, so you see that the employers are listed by province. So we have, they are listed by province. They are listed by how high their wages are. They are also listed by their names, by their address, the kind of occupation. So you can as well use this as a means of uh, applying to companies that you that fits the profile you're looking for. So you just, mo many of them would actually have uh, a website. So you can just search for the company that you are interested in, search for the company on Google, or any other uh, browser platform and then you can go to their website so once you get to the website search for the career section of the website and then you apply via the career site so that's pretty much how this works i've included this current excel file i've also included in the description box but the reason for this video is in case it gets updated you can always go to the site and have access to the updated version. So that's pretty much it about this part. Then let's move to the next kind of way of getting uh, jobs to apply to. Okay, so recently I was browsing through LinkedIn and I saw a particular post that caught my attention. So this person listed several companies with their website links. So you can actually check that out as well. If you look at it, here, yeah, the this person has listed out is a senior recruiter has listed out several companies with their links so you can just go to the website list each of them check the career site and see the roles available you most likely may find what you're looking for then uh, I would rather that you sign into LinkedIn before clicking on this uh, LinkedIn link uh, that brings you here so that you will be able to have access to everything without uh, being in that yeah so another one that i saw recently as well is also like a collation of different companies based on categories that they are recruiting so if you look at this as well it's also a link i saw on linkedin that collates several companies in canada that are recruiting so you can just go to each of them click on the links all those blue blue uh texts they are links so click on them it will take you directly to where you can find jobs to apply to yeah so if you 
scroll down to everything we see a whole lot of them here there i already included the link within the description box so you can as well just check that out and uh, and search for jobs that you can apply to okay so other jobs that i can apply to they are within the description box i can just probably put them somewhere around here on the screen for you to see so you can just click on them search for jobs you most likely will find what you are looking for and another thing i do is when i type the names of these sites i always include visa sponsorship within it so if you can just go to google type the name of the site say for example this trabajo site just type trabajo canada visa sponsorship and then click on google search it most likely will give you a number of job roles that relates to that search criteria so you can try that as well so you can try that for each of these also but for this second one is uk i had so obviously it's not a canadian uh, site it's for uk so if you're looking for uk roles as well you can as well try that yeah so you can just try zip recruiter as well just type zip recruiter canada visa sponsorship so once you do that it will give you a list of jobs i can apply to so for me what gave me you know i mentioned that i applied to so many so i used some of these sites to search for jobs and uh, the one that actually eventually gave me uh, the job i was looking for was i went to the site i went to the website itself went to the career page and i searched for available rules and i applied directly to the website so you can just try as many means as you can and once the interview starts flowing in then you most likely will get what you are looking for. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comment section. I would like to look at it and also uh, attend to them. And if there's anyone that you need me to make more videos on, just put it there. And then uh, I wish you the very best in your job search. Thank you so much for coming by. Please like, comment, share, and uh, see you in the next video.